he specifically teaches you how to think critically and how to reason your way through issues, whether it's reading you know, Machiavelli or figuring out how to write a briefing paper for your boss in 30 minutes. Philosophy, politics, and the public is the critical study of democratic institutions. When we think about it, the political institutions that you know, Gene is, is studying with his students, when he's immersing his students in them, uh, these weren't constructed by narrowly prepared uh, intellectuals or narrowly prepared specialists. You know, I think of Thomas Jefferson, I wouldn't know what major he would have put forward as his primary uh, interest. Well, I think it's an inter interdisciplinary study of the public. The public means so many different things and is used in so many different ways. When I get the students, they're incredibly embedded in the public through campaign politics. They're there right on the front line. Sometimes they're with the candidate talking policy. Sometimes they're door to door, knocking on doors. Sometimes they're on the phone. Sometimes they're being interviewed by the media. It's really, it's focus on public service. It's kind of captured everything that I've been struggling to find in other universities. John would always say that uh, his goal with this program is, is, to, is to produce public intellectuals, at least potentially, who then put that to the service of the public good. I think it's going to make them better citizens, and I think it would m prepare them for any business that they go into. What we can do is help your son or daughter find his or her vocation, by which I mean something that brings out their passion and brings out everything that they've been learning in school and that they want to apply in the most serious sort of way. And that may be, in fact, much more important than training them for some narrow career. Took classes from economics, philosophy, history, sociology, and it brought it all together. And what, what ties it and connects it is this issue of trying to understand what the public means. So you put your feet on the ground at Dr. Beaupre's side of the class, and you work on a campaign, and you see how that historical development works right now. You see how campaigns work, you see how public policy works. So that really kind of taught me that academics can match up with practical work. The campaign sophomore year is definitely a life-changing event. We went to Iowa a month before the caucuses. Soon to be President Obama was staying in our hotel. I literally saw him walk out for his morning jog then. And I mean, it was just the coolest experience and it was so fun. The summer between junior and senior year, all of the students go to Rome and it is just an incredible learning experience. I've never been to Washington, so I, I just cannot wait to go. Most importantly, they learn how to move, how to move an issue in the public sector. As a sophomore, you picked a, some kind of subject that you're working on. And we ended up going to DC as a class and meeting with all these different individuals on the Hill, um, staffers, congressmen, also people off the Hill, lobbyists, interest groups. You're gonna be put in place where you're in a meeting with somebody, the outcome of that meeting is going to depend upon you. I'm currently interning for um, Senator Brown. My junior year at Xavier, I went out to Washington, D.C. and interned for Rob Portman. I successfully worked on a campaign that elected Ted Strickland to become governor of Ohio. I went and interned on Capitol Hill for John Boehner, who was then majority leader, and so I was working in the Capitol building every day. After I graduated, in December 2008, that February 2009, I started working for Congressman Steve Driehaus in his Washington, D.C. office. Interning under Mayor Mallory was very interesting because he's actually much more approachable than I thought he would be, and I, I'm a registered Republican, he's a Democratic mayor. I feel like he wasn't just doing me any favors listening to me, I felt like he genuinely did want to know. Um, and he asked me about the PPP program, he said, what are you going to do with that, and I said, succeed. We've had two uh, in the Peace Corps, one in Africa, one in the Caribbean. Several have gone into Teach for America, gone into government work. Um, some go directly on to either policy school or law school. And uh, we have one graduate who is a, a stand-up uh, comedian in Chicago uh, doing political satire. I'm stationed at Fort Bragg, so I'm a first lieutenant in the United States Army. I'm a military intelligence officer for 3rd Brigade. Combat Team A, 2nd Import Division. I went and worked in the Bush administration um, in May of 2007, and then I stayed on until the last day, January 20, 2009. I'm beginning to see, especially through the connections that I've made 
um, with PPP and the connections that I've made in my master's program, I'm very well connected in Cincinnati. I would love to stay. I think it's really unique to have this classical Jesuit education, but also being thrown into campaigns and working at nonprofits and you know getting that kind of experience. I think it's actually become a competitive advantage for this entire cadre of students. It's the best teaching I've ever done. I mean, the students that come into this program are the brightest group of students. It is the most satisfying thing I've ever done uh, in, in my 32 years here at State University, no question. The moment where it started to really mean something to me was in Dr. Fairfield's class. When we learned, you know, history does not happen. History is is the result of people doing things and people acting in a certain way. And so not only do we have the ability, but we have the responsibility to pursue the things that we believe in and to actually try to, try to make them reality. 